What's up guys and welcome back to the squad room. We have another mystery goat gun box opening for you. Um, they did another sale where you get a goat gun for uh, a really great price. It's $22, which is a, a it's almost 50% off and even more on some of them. What it is, is it's a damaged goat gun box. Just the box is damaged and they send it to you for $22 um, just a damaged box the goat guns intact but the box is damaged and that's all it is however it's a mystery so I got four of them again so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what we can get so we're just going to rip into this um, and we'll pull them out one by one I have not like I said, not seen any of them. Actually, you know what? Let's just get this box out of here. Turn this around. And so right away, I see another AK-47, um, which we did get last time. It's okay, though. So as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Let me just move that light out of the way. This is what I was talking about when uh, how everything is not in the right place or the box is damaged a little bit um, just things like that where they don't feel comfortable selling it outright but they still the product inside the box is still good so they want to get it out but they sell it at a discounted price and i think that is just awesome um so we did get the ak-47 which if you've seen the last mystery goat gun box um we did get that's okay though i have multiple ideas for the ak-47 and then we have the AUG, um, the, the bull pup, uh, miniature toy as it says here, uh, but it's, it's the AUG. And I do not have this one. And look, I mean, it looks fine. You know, the $22. If you wanna get into goat guns, I think this is the, the perfect way to do it. Um, these little mystery boxes, just because the box is damaged a little bit, but the guns, I mean, the guns are fine. You know, if you want to, if you want to put them together and display them without the box, that that's the perfect time. Uh, like half off, even more than that, as long as you're okay with the box being damaged and the, the gun, you know, the pieces being obviously not where they're supposed to be, but you know, still in there, I think you can't beat this so i don't have the aug i did want one and this i did see this when we turned it uh turn the other one look at this this is the mcx uh they came out with this not too long ago but this is this was one it was very popular when it first came out um sold out very quickly i never i never cared for it too much but i mean it $22 I can't express to you how great of a deal that is so I mean you know I'm getting goat guns that I don't have and that I you know would possibly want in the future and then the last one look at that box I don't know if you can see that but there you can see it's a little bit more damaged than the other one um, that one the previous one was opened so you know you do risk that but the 1911 don't have it either so again another goat gun that i do not have that I, that i got you know for for cheap um yeah so i this is a great deal i always pick up four of these uh there's no information given out when when they have these mystery boxes i just check every couple days or so or yeah even every other week just look on there and they'll have the picture. I'll try to get the picture up of it uh, on here if I can. And that's what you look for. And it's just, it'll say mystery goat gun. Uh, and then it'll have the description of it. I just, I, I can't, you can't beat it guys. Um, so I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to open any of them. But I mean, I got three of them that I, I haven't had before. So we're going to go ahead and open the 1911. Uh, it's a it looks fairly simple. I mean, it's a it's a pistol whereas the other ones are rifles You know a little bit more pieces to put together. So let's go ahead and put the 1911 together and uh, see See what we got 
Okay, so here is the pistol out of the plastic. Right away, this feels absolutely great. It's real heavy. Um, the barrel moves. I mean, look at that. That's very awesome. So there's the barrel to 1911, uh, the spring, the guide rod. And here we have the frame of the pistol. Again, uh, feels great. Hammer moves. Uh, let's see if the safety moves. Safety. I do not feel the safety moving. Um, and the magazine release here moves. And the trigger. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Um, so you can't pull the trigger unless the, the palm safety is down. Then the hammer releases. That is some next level um, realism there. So that's that's really cool there. Then we have the magazine, standard 1911 magazine. Looks uh, very awesome. And I actually am at a loss when I comes to uh, identifying this object here. This is the um, how to break down your pistol. This. Well, actually, you know what? Never mind. This is the um, the the slide catch. So this this is what releases the slide um, there. And then we have the stand again, metal, and then little screwdriver, and then the bullets. So let's go ahead and do the simple thing first. Put the bullets in the mag here. So I love the how detailed they are with this 1911 so far. Uh, the, the palm safety is easily my favorite part because that is just something that is that is very um, that's just very detailed. You know that, that's hard to. I mean I I don't know obviously, but man I can just see how that can be a little difficult to. Um, to make happen so but so how we're gonna put this together is just like a regular pistol we are going to take the guide rod and slide it into the slide there and then this is going to slide and now they they held it. I, I just saw a brief picture of it, but they they held the spring down, and then um, they slid the frame onto the slide. Actually, let's try it this way. So that way the round part is up. We're going to try to slide on the slide this time. There. Okay. And then we are going to take the magazine. Not the magazine, the slide release. And we're going to have that little hole. There, slide that in, and there we go. It's uh, it's a pretty simple one, guys. That is very cool, very awesome. Um, and then palm safety, very cool. So let's see here. Okay, it actually loads it. Does it eject it? Okay, didn't see an eject. Let's try that again. Let's see if it ejects it. I don't know if it does or not. Okay, so it's having a little bit of, just needs a little bit of force, a little help. Okay, it does not eject it, but it does chamber it. But, you know, that, is I'm not sure if it's supposed to eject it but that is cool in itself um, I mean 
very realistic. This is one of the most realistic models that I have had from Goat Guns. Um, very happy with this one. I got the master key and I made a video on that. But the master key I was pretty disappointed with. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so there it is on its stand. The master key I was pretty disappointed with. Um, it looks great, but the chambering and ejection is a little is a little messed up. But uh, it still looks great. I'm not playing with them. They, they are purely display. So I will have that video up too. And my uh, my my equipment is messing up on me. So it might be a little weird. But um, yeah, hang in there. <laughs> That is the mystery box. I will be opening these other goat guns uh, soon. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be.